hey guys welcome back once again in this video we are gonna to discuss how to flatten an array and object this is the very important question from interview point of view and they will ask you this question to do it without using any functions so here as you can see I have this array and at the 0th index I have 1 here at 1 2 and here at the third index I have this complete array if I go inside this so here at the second index as you can see I have a different array and inside again I have nested array okay so here we can remove this flatten by using a javascript function on array that is called flat after making this array flatten we will get output something like this so here we will have 1 2 3 and till 10 means we will not have array inside a array okay and whereas if i talk about the object so here as you can see i have name vikas age 24 and address which is another object so flat number and city so now in case of object i need to remove this nested object and here i have to create something like this flat object let me comment this line okay and here console dot log and i am gonna to print array so here i open terminal node and here index.js to execute this file so here as you can see I got this 1 2 3 and this is again array here array and this is saying again array. okay if I want to flat this by using the function flat so what I have to do is here dot flat okay and now if I execute here as you can see we had array here and this array has been removed okay so right now we have one and two nested array so here if i write inside this two now it will remove that as well so here as you can see from the six we don't have here this parameter is going to be our depth of array okay so how many we want to remove so here this is the first and this is the second so once we wrote second it is gonna to remove inside that okay so once we wrote here only flat without any value that means the default value is gonna to be one in our case so now if i pass here three i will get our expected array so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that means all the level has been removed let's consider you have a array and you are not sure how much depth it will be so in that case here you can pass infinity okay and it is gonna to do the same so, so once you have passed infinity as a parameter to flat function it will remove all the nesting and it will return you a simple array as you can see okay so basically this is all about the function what we have flat here but we are not gonna to do by using function so we have to write our custom code to do it so let's see how we are gonna to do it so let me comment this and write a comment here using javascript function so here i will define this parameter as well so what you have to pass for your reference so here you can pass depth okay so you can do that now let's write our custom function so first of all i will create a array so const new array and here i will pass initial value as a empty okay so now i am going to loop through all the element and i will check each and every index what i am getting at that particular index so in order to do that i am gonna to use array dot for each well so this for each function is gonna to take a callback function so here this callback function again gonna to take a three things so gonna to give the current value and index and the array so here i will call it as data and here index 
okay so now let's get inside and check here so let me do console.log and to this dt so here i will get all the element one by one okay so now here we need to write a condition and distinguish between the simple element and this complex element okay so for that here let me write something like this so we have function array dot is array okay so now uh, let's save save it so here done and as you can see here i got this false 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 and true and this is happening because here this is not a array this is not a array and this is not a array so in all three condition i got this as a false and once it came to the third index this is an array so i got this value as a true so means here i can write a condition so here if okay so i have to do something in else condition let's push a simple element in array so here new array dot push and i need to pass here current element so dt now let's come out of this and write here console dot log and print this new array so here as you can see i got only three element first second third and this was because here i haven't got this whole thing because this one is the array and we haven't wrote any code for this okay so right now here what we will do is we will use a recursion function okay so whatever we are doing i will convert this into a recursion function so here let's do this so get flatten array and this is gonna to take a parameter okay so here i have copied and pasted everything here and here let's call it as argument and this arg gonna to be a array okay so now here if i call this function here calling this function and passing that complete array so i should get the same output okay so we haven't done anything much so now once we will have this condition satisfied that means we are getting array in that case we are gonna to call this function okay and we will pass here parameter as a dt because dt itself is a array so here dt and now again it will get back here again it will start looping on that and it will get inside that okay and here it it will come and check the each and every element if not it will push inside this array so let's see so now let's come here so as you can see right now we are getting our array completely flattened okay so here basically what we have done is if the element of the current is array so we are again calling this function and we are passing that current element so in our case here so we have been passing this as a nested array so again this one is gonna to be a parameter here and it will be passed and again it will check for four so four here is simple element five is simple element and this one will be considered as a complex so again this flat will be executed and it will be get call okay so now here as you can see we are able to do that okay but here we have to write a function which will be alone able to do this and flat a array so in order to do this here so definitely here i am gonna to write another one function so here const flatten array okay and this is gonna to take a parameter array or let it be argument okay and now here i will push this code inside that complete code okay so now as you can see we have couple of error 
okay so this this have to be a row function so we have to call this function from here so i will cut it from here and immediately after this line here i am going to call that function okay so if you wish here you can do this after definition as well okay so here i will pass this argument so whatever the argument or if you want you can call it as a array and you can pass here as a array okay so now here we need to call this function and at, at the last here what i can do is i can return this result so that will be more better so new array okay so now here we are returning at the last so once the function is done it will do this so here let's get back and call this function here flatten array so here we are returning so we don't need to do console log here flatten array and i need to pass this argument as a array now let's do this and as you can see here we got the same output that means uh, we are passing this uh, array to a complex uh, structure of array and it's giving me a flattened array okay and now you have seen very well that what uh, we have been doing so here basically i wrote this function inside a function because i need to internal function as a recursion function recursion in the sense it will call this function by itself so that's why i have uh, written this code here i hope that makes sense so here i am not using this index so i need only one parameter so i can remove this bracket and i can make it more simple okay so now we are done with this array now let's get back to the object and let's see what we can do there so now here i am commenting this i am not gonna to call and let's get back to object so here console dot log and i have this object so obj and let's print this so here as you can see this object have name age and address is the complex structure here complex object which contains flat number and city so i want all to be at the root level so here i am gonna to do the same okay so here i will create a variable new object and this is gonna to be empty at the initial and here i will i need to loop but how can i loop because this is the object right so i cannot loop but still i can loop if i convert this object into a array and i can do by using some of the functions so here i will try to get the all key so here uh, let's do this so object dot keys and i will pass my object okay so now let me show you what this is gonna to give me console dot log and let me comment this line okay so here as you can see so these are the basically key i have here so name age and address i got a array of key so right now here in order to get the data from this object what i have to do only is here object of and here i need to pass the name key. okay so it, like this we can we will be able to access the value of that particular property if i write something i will get here vcash okay so now here let's move further and here what i will do is here let me paste it at the top okay so here i will remove this and i know that this is a array so i will apply here for it and again i will call it as key here because this is a key and here i am gonna to check almost same so let's do this here object of key 
now let's do console log to this so console log as you can see I got this vikas and here the value and I got here complete object itself that means we, it's working and right now here as you can see this is a object so let's check the type of this so here what I can do is here let me type type of and let's do this so here as you can see string number and object so I can do the similar thing if type of this value is object so in that case we can call a recursion otherwise we will push that element into this new object okay so here if type of particular values is object okay because this is a string value so here we will call recursion else here I am gonna to push that element into this object so here in order to push the new element I need to write new object and I need to push key okay so this is how we can push dynamic key and I need to assign that value and as you can see how can I get the value so here I need to write object of object of a name and this name I will get it from key so here key okay so now let's get down here and let's do console.log to our new object and let's see so here as you can see we have this name property and we have age property and we are missing that nested address property because we haven't wrote any code for it so now uh, let's get back here and convert this into a function so we can make a recursive call so here const get flatten object okay and this will expect a parameter so object let it be and here copy this whole bunch of code and paste it here so now we are having this object we are getting and here we need to make a recursive call so definitely this one have to be out because we are making the recursive call means again it will set to initial state so we don't want to do that so here i am gonna to call this function again so get flatten and here i need to pass only value and you know very well how to get the value so here object of key well so get back here and right now do this so here as you can see i am getting this empty because we haven't called this function so here let's call it and pass our object so opg so here as you can see we are getting name age and we are not getting address complex object anymore we are getting here flat number and city as well okay so now what we have done for this is we are calling this function again and we are passing the values okay so based on the values it is gonna to do the calculation again if there is a nested element so let me show you so let's consider I have a element and I have some property B uh, which contains the value or I have uh, other property J something okay now let's save it and execute this code so here as you can see I got B here itself and I got J here itself okay so everything has been flattened here so now we have to make it as a single function and we have to return that our new object so in order to do this here I am gonna to write and now let's get back here and let's pass the parameter so we have obj okay and here as you can see we are getting the same okay so right now what we have done is 
here we are getting and we are checking one and if there is any object means type of object again it will call this function and it will add those element by using this here so i can write here or here comment adding new okay so here we are adding this new property so now you might have one question or one doubt why you have been writing this new object at outside not inside this function so i am not writing inside this function because this is a recursive call recursive call in the sense whenever i will call this the again this initial value will be set and our before stored value will get managed so that's why i created this object here at root level of this function and here i am calling this function and at last i am returning that object okay so here in this video we have seen if we have a complex structure of array means a nested array how we can flat it without using any one of the functions so in object we have seen how to flat a complex object into a simple object and we okay guys that's it for this video you can find the github link to this code in description of this video if you have any doubt please comment me so if you like this content please do like share and subscribe see you in next video